Am I, hopefully I'm nice and loud enough. Do I have a nice cadence to my voice? Ask me so long and I just almost put my finger in my eye. No, that's how you get Rona. I know. What? Don't put your finger in your eye. I don't want it crawls into your eyeball. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> All right. If the phone rings, it's not our fault. <laughs> it's not our fault. We're at the desk, we're answering questions, but also doing an interview. So like quick summary, Josiah and Deja have been working at the pumpkin patch. They've been working at the pumpkin patch all throughout high school. And this is their last year working at the pumpkin patch. It's Halloween night. And all four years, Josiah has been in love with the fudge shop girl. And so Deja convinces Josiah that they need to go through the pumpkin, well, her plan isn't to go through the pumpkin patch, but they're gonna find fudge shop girl. And Josiah is gonna tell his true feel feels for Fudge Shop Girl. Because Deja says, this is your last chance to like tell her how you feel. Yep. So it turns into like a night of shenanigans because Fudge Shop Girl is not working at the Fudge Shop that night. Mm -hmm. So they go through like the candy corn kettle and they <laughs> go through the pumpkin, well, the pumpkin uh, patch. Succotash hut. The su which I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Actually, I'm still not sure if I know what it is. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, it's succotash. It's like a, a like sucker a, and it's sucker like a, It's like a well, there's that. It's like a vegetable medley sort of deal. I think you have to stir. It's hot. I'd have to Google it, but it's I, yeah, it's succotash. It's a thing. Yeah, it's, that's where Josiah and Deja work. Is this the sucka succotash? Succotash. 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 Shack. Shack. Succotash shack. <laughs> that's where they work, but. They end up abandoning it, which really hurts Josiah's heart because he's had that title of most valuable pumpkin patch player <laughs> for all all his years there, except for one when he had walking pneumonia. <laughs> and he's, oh, yeah. he's very upset about that. Yeah. She's like, you had pneumonia. He's like, it was walking pneumonia. I could have yeah. walked and made it happen. He is like, okay. he's super type A and yeah. Deja is not. Deja is the type B. It's fantastic. So the, the whole <laughs> night is them trying to find Fudge Shop Girl and also Deja eating all the food. She's like, this night is also about eating all the snacks across the pumpkin patch, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. I like that it's really body positive. Mm -hmm. um, Deja is really tall. She's as tall as Josiah, if not taller. And she's a little bit bigger. She's a little bit of a bigger girl. Mm -hmm. And in the back of the book, a rainbow rowl and what's her butt? Faith Aaron Hicks, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. How they didn't want Deja to be a really tiny petite girl because they're like, we don't want the main girl to be, you know, super cute. Oh, uh. right. Like that's not that's not Deja. So I love that it's really body positive. And I actually in one part, she's like eating marshmallows. She's like trying to fend off little children who are like, get us the marshmallows. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's really funny. And she's like, if you guys don't settle down, I'll eat these all myself. And one kid was being a butt. He's like, looks like you already did. And so Josiah takes that kid's marshmallow and throws it into the like the dirt, and he's like, "There's your marshmallow." <laughs> <laughs> he like stands up for it. And it's amazing, and she just she has no shame about going and eating whatever she wants. Yeah, and I just love it. I love seeing all the food she eats, and actually one of the main storylines is like one of the kids like steals keeps stealing her food as she's walking. It's yeah. like the same kid every time. He like goes up, he swipes it from her and runs. <laughs> And she's like, I'll get you! Like, it's also um, LGBT friendly. So yeah. like Deja has dated most of the people in the pumpkin patch, <laughs> like both genders, which is really funny. Like one girl she's dated, they call her the pony girl. Her name is Jess and she sighs. She sighs all the time. She's like, oh, Deja. <sighs> <laughs> and Josiah's is like, why did you date her? She's weird. She's like, it's something about the love of ponies. I don't know. <laughs> She's dated a dude, Jess, who mm -hmm. is kind of like hipsterish. She's like, he listens to his own podcast in the car. I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> and then there's another guy, and I don't remember what his name was, but he ended up breaking up with her for some odd reason. But just, anywho, she's dated like everybody in the pumpkin patch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the focal point that Deja is like probably bisexual. It's just like, oh, it's a thing and nobody cares. Right. So it's nice. It's it's nice. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> they called it the Disneyland of pumpkin patches, the yeah. one that they created in here, and it is. It has like everything you could ever want in a pumpkin patch. Yeah. And a great storyline. And also, a rampaging goat named Buck. Oh, I forgot about Buck! Buck! <laughs> I forgot about Buck! They're like, Buck got out! And they're all like, <laughs> they're 
they're like, blood got out. He, and the guy they're talking to, he's like, there will be blood. <laughs> and every once in a while, there's like a picture of like people screaming and just Buck running after them. <laughs> so like, this, it's like demon goat is out and about. So good. During the night, like the last night of their pumpkin patch together. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me that little Buck. I about Buck. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like demon goat eyes. <laughs> yeah. I just, it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Like if you like humor, if you like fall, mm -hmm. if you like diverse inclusiveness, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. <clears throat> Without that being necessarily the focal point. It's the not part. the focal point. It's, it's just, just normalized. Like part of it. Yeah. yeah. It's just part of it. And it's nice. Yeah. It's just really fun. It's categorizes young adults so i mean middle school would be easy like middle school and up i'd say it translates well for adults too though yeah like if you're you know looking for a fun yeah i mean it novel. is it is kind of a coming of age novel so if you're not there are some people who are like kind of over that it is about finding love falling in love you know mm -hmm. so if you're if you're not into that as an adult maybe not for you but if yeah. you enjoy like teen genuine humor I wouldn't call his book angsty. No. Like, the angst that happens is it's made fun of. Yeah. You know? He's like, fudge shot girl. <laughs> and Deja's like, well, go get her. It's your last year. It's really cute. It's cute. Yeah. Like, it's just a cute read. Yeah. So. All right. Okay, everybody. Go read Pumpkin Heads, if Pum you so choose. Pumpkin Heads. Go read some Pumpkin Heads. It's really great. Thanks, Brittany. Yeah.